Well, well, well. Cavaliers go into Boston on Sunday afternoon and boat race the Celtics 121 to 99 in a game that wasn't even that close. Now look, I understand it's only one game. One game does not a season make, doesn't uh, does not make a conference finals or an NBA finals or win a title. But this was a very significant game for the Cavaliers. Therefore, I am not going to downplay it and just say it's one of 82 for them. This game was huge because it was the first one where Kobe Altman's new toys were able to show a little bit of what they can do. The four players, Larry Nance Jr., Jordan Clarkson, George Hill, and Rodney Hood, who were acquired by Altman at the trade deadline, debuted as Cavs against the Celtics. Now, it was the second game post-deadline. The Cavs played with the skeleton crew in Atlanta and beat the Hawks. But what you saw on national television, by the way, which never hurts, was a Cavaliers team that had youth, enthusiasm, oh, by the way, had the King, who didn't have to be superhuman in order for the Cavs to win big. But they had youth, enthusiasm, uh, Chetty Osman, LeBron James, they're running the floor, they're guarding people, uh, they're having fun. I understand that winning breeds fun. And that even the old Cavs were having some fun when they were winning. But I get the sense that there's a huge pressure lift from this team now that the guys that were here before are gone, specifically Isaiah Thomas. Now, LeBron says, you know, he's not going to throw shade on the guys out the door. Well, that's what the media is for. I'll, I'll say it. Isaiah Thomas was poisoned to this team. He was a mess on the floor. He was a mess off the court. He was the key to getting out of here. They, Altman had to get Thomas out of here and his toxicity. The rest of them, hey, I mean, I don't know how much they contributed to the uh, difficult locker room, but the bottom line is this group with the new guys coming in certainly looks like they're enjoying themselves in the first few days that they've been together. And I'll tell you what, I know that you know game balls are not the thing in the NBA, certainly not in the regular season, but if I were the Cavs and there was a game ball to be given out uh, today, it would be to Kobe Altman for the fact that he pulled off the trades that brought in the four new guys, and he did it basically without any assets. That's one of the most incredible things. I mean, the only asset he had was LeBron James, and LeBron James was unavailable, and yet Altman was able to bring in four guys who look like they're going to fit. And and the thing was, the Cavs-Celtics uh, game, Cavs were basically freelancing. They hadn't even installed anything. So it's an exciting time to be a Cavs fan, whereas just a few days ago, it was an incredibly difficult time to be a Cavs fan. And if the Cavs had stayed pat, at the, or stood pat at the deadline, this would have been a slow march to LeBron's exit in the summer. Instead... You look at a different scenario, and the, the you know LeBron certainly looked uh, excited and happy with what is happening around him. So it remains to be seen what LeBron does, but at least the beginning of this new chapter uh, in the Cavs-LeBron history was a smashing success.